thunder in the east again. Does each dawn bring the storm nearer, or will it die away beyond the horizon? A bomber, fast, lethal, terrifying. The Air Force is staging a mock war in itself, and the Air Minister, Lord Swinton, confers with the Air Officers Commanding on the progress of the manoeuvres. For the protection of London, squadrons of Gloucester gladiators and gauntlets stand by, ready for the warning of enemy planes approaching the coast. Across a mythical sea somewhere, propellers are whirring and brief practical conferences are held in the gloom among pilots of attacking squadrons. The crews mount to their purse within these modern monsters of destruction. And as the shades of night fall, the great handly paid machines take off with their imaginary cargo of bombs. Pilot and navigator inside the cockpit fly blind by highly sensitive instruments. And down below, the earth is suddenly alive with searchlights, scanning the darkness for the dreaded foe. Sound detectors catch the menacing drone of the deadly bomber. And by many other devices, the altitude and course of the enemy is determined. And while the searchlights play, a great battle is fought over London. And what does London do? London carries on. It's only a mock war this time. <laughs> 